Hello, hello everyone. How are we today? It's Lori from Art Lore. Thanks for joining me. So today I'm um, doing something fun. Fun. I'm sick of winter. I want something bright and cheery. But we're going to do a 15 by 30 um, canvas and it's, it's a gallery wrap from Michaels. And I have my pillow down already, which is the PPG Multi Pro. And um, I get the interior eggshell. I really love it. And my uh, pouring medium, of course, is two to one. And it's the uh, Bear 8300 with the Minwax Polycrylic and I get the Clear Semi Gloss. And I love that as well. So let's get down to the canvas. We're going to make a mess. Um, I'm going to do three blooms. I might actually even just do five uh, or seven. I might do little tiny ones. I don't know. I don't know if I really want to have a, a, a large show of bloom or if I want like real busyness with these colors. So we're going to do one bloom first and I'll see what I get and then we'll go from there. But I definitely want it all over the canvas and I'm not looking for negative space. So let's get down to the canvas and we'll get to blooming. All right. All right, there you are. You are in frame and in focus. And I always forget to put my hair in a ponytail. Um, gotta do that right this moment. Okay, so up first is going to be Brilliant Purple. This is a Liquitex color. It's really pretty. And oops, it's kind of a globby, little glob there. They've been sitting for a couple of minutes. Someone had to come over and get a painting. So let's do this. We're going to go right in the center. Everything's been made up fresh today. And yeah, that is a little thick. So I may have to thin that down a bit. So here's my beautiful pig. And I don't even know how to pronounce it. But I will figure that out. Next up is light blue violet, and that is a Liquitex color. And this is thickening up as well. So I'll have to just give that a little jigger of um, water in the Minwax. This one here is my, uh, it's the Deco Art um, Americana uh, Metallics, and this is the 24 karat. I thought it would be kind of fun just to see how this would work. And we're just going to drizzle, 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 drizzle all around so it incorporates in there quite well. Now, what I'm going to do is, I think I will just kind of Loosen this up a little bit here, thin this out a little bit because I want to add this under the cell activator. That's better. There we go. Okay, three to one. And then we're going to go medium high fan, cool air. All right, here we go.
Okay, that looks pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Colors are absolutely gorgeous. That green is phenomenal. So let's do it again, but we're going to thin this out just a little tiny bit more because it is still pretty thick. That gold, that's really fun. I may have to add a little puff or two in there, so we'll see. Let's do this. We're gonna put one right here. That's better. Not so thick. And then my green. Yeah, this is gorgeous green. Ooh. Okay, and I thinned out my uh, light blue violet um, as well. So that was a little thick. I'm so glad that I added the brilliant uh, violet uh, on top of the gold because um, these cells are really, really pretty. Do a little bit more of this. Okay. Drizzle. And then a little bit of brilliant violet, or actually brilliant purple. There we go. And then cell activator. It's selling up pretty good, actually. Okay, let's do this again, a little bit of noise. Right. Yeah, that is absolutely beautiful. Okay, <clears throat> one more time. I'll put one right here. I have a big show coming up in March, and I'm real excited. Um, I'm actually going to be doing some live demos. So I think this will be these will be good colors to have for the spring the end of March, and people are ready for some pretty spring colors. I'm just gonna put a scant more green than I did in the other two. See if I can get a little more green showing in there. Give this a little stir. So I think that will be fun. Oops, I screwed up. I should have done my gold, but that's okay. We're gonna just drizzle it anyway, so it does not matter. And we're going to add the violet, the purple. Keep calling it violet. It's brilliant purple. All right. 
Yeah, it's selling up pretty good. I may have to take a little bit of that out, but we'll see. Okay, here we go. All right, and we're gonna make some noise. Okay, I love it. This is gorgeous right there. I hope we don't lose too much of that. Um, <clears throat> it's selling up quite nice, but this needs to pop up and I gotta take a little bit of that out or I might puff on it and see if I can get some cells to come up in there. So let me um, get my sides going and figure out what I'm gonna do in the center and then we'll be right back. All right. Ready to spin. It's really pretty. It's very springy. Uh-oh. Here. It's going to come right now. I think it would have spun off, but it's always good to get that out of there. So let's do this. We're going to just go. Oops. Hold on one second. I gotta get some of this out of the way. So much paint on my table. You know, the bigger the table, the more stuff you can put on it, right? I have a big table here and I can put a lot of stuff on there. And, oh, I need to be more organized. to add a little bit of paint on these edges here because I didn't have enough on there to begin with and I'm trying to not put too much on there but you want it to slide and if you don't have it close to the edge it's not going to slide and I want it off so let's do this just going to add a little bit of paint I've done this in the beginning. There, that would be way better. I will really slide off now. Okay, and then we're going to add just a scant more over here as well. I need to stop though. Sometimes I don't listen to that little voice inside my head that says, add more paint. And then I say, no, I don't want to. And then I add more paint because I didn't listen. Okay, here we go. There, see that's coming off now, way better. Um, not so much there, but I'm going to go 
this way with it. Whoa. Massive paint flying everywhere. Ooh, it's so pretty. All right, but we need this to come off. So we're going to pull it forward a little bit. And go in that direction. I think it should be that direction. Maybe it should be the other way around. I don't know. A little bit more to go. And I don't like that on there. That's got to come off for sure. It's almost there. I might be able to just even just kind of blow some of the petals out as well. I don't know because I don't, I love the line that's in there and I don't want to destroy that line. So it is coming. Okay, that one piece is gone. So that's really good. Lost my center bloom there, but that's okay um, because the colors are just so phenomenal um, and the cells are great. Uh, that green is gorgeous especially with that um, permanent blue violet. Um, it, you know, it reminds me of like an alabaster shell. Kind of, sort of, yeah. So I don't mind this so much not coming off. Um, it pairs well with this side, and I love the line of the cell activator in there. Um... Not sure I like that. So I think we're gonna take that off. And add a little bit of paint there. So what I'm going to do is scrape this. around a little bit wipe off my spoon grab some paint and then just drizzle that in there and just kind of push it up in there a little bit skewer hold my breath and bury that little tail right in the white there Okay, so now we're going to just spin just to kind of get that so that it evens out. Ooh. Let's take a peek. Rid of that tail. Much better. Okay, there we go. Um, all right, so I'm not minding this. I don't mind that. Um, petals are beautiful. The blooms are beautiful. So I would call this success. Let's just take a peek though. 
and see what we have. Oh, it's perfect. The depth is perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay. I'm very happy with it. Gorgeous colors. So let's take you down and you can see the results and it's very shimmery. The gold and the green together paired very well with their shimmer. They didn't fight against each other whatsoever. All right. So there is the first bloom and you can see the shimmer. Oh my goodness, so beautiful. And that permanent blue violet is just gorgeous. And here is the center bloom. And then check out those cells. Aren't they pretty? And then up here we have the bloom that we did lose, but I think it's pretty cool. So there we have it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would so appreciate it. Thank you all again and have a great day. Until next time, bye.